Welcome back to the Vampire Survivors beating every stage with every character challenge, episode 34 of the Beswick. Toasty is going to be challenging a Magna with overwhelming might. It's going to be glorious. Keep messing around, have a good day, like, comment, subscribe. Vampire Survivors beating every stage with every character. And the one with so much potential for pain, Toasty on level I Wait, no, I... Did I do X dash on Gallo Tower? I think I remember this since it was only a couple hours ago, but... Oh boy, that means I'm going to Capella Magna, which is also a stage I've already beaten with Toasty. But not without charm. And of course, the one and only Arcana that will remotely make this possible. Oh god, get Laurel. Nope. Yeah. Armor. Wait, 10 health? How did that happen? Thank God for the little... Oh, right, because I took damage. Wait, what did I retaliate with? Dang it. Might have been a bad idea to pick up the garlic. Yeah, this is the waves that you really need to... Oh, wait, Divine Bloodline does it normally. Uh, yeah, this was bad. Gonna have to restart. There's no way I'm gonna be able to go up higher. Nope. Oh. Give the laurel or give something I can use, please. Dang it. Basically, I have no choice but to pop all the re-rolls. Okay. Oh. Wait, do I not get XP gems if they die to retaliatory damage? Uh oh. Yep. Well, that's what you should expect if you don't get the luck to get the Laurel. Dang it. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be bad, but... Expecting at least a tiny bit of luck. Give me the laurel already. Yep, this is already a toast run. Heh. <laughs> oh man, I forgot to look up his name. He won't. Armor will keep me in the fight for a bit longer. Yeah, there's just no way you're going to be able to physically do this without getting Divine Bloodline. It's just not going to happen. Okay. Gotta do some slow work. Pick out them all out the edges and get some XP, get some health that way. Okay. See, with enough armor, the bats are going to do even less damage than they normally do. And I am picking up health after this. So eventually it'll work out. Ah, dang it. Long clockwise. 
or clockway clockways oh this actually wouldn't be terrible in fact actually it's gonna be very terrible well no it's not gonna hold out against toasty's gigantic hp pool but it will give enough of a safety net for these sections yeah yeah, it lets me do that. That's worth it. Yeah, up to 54 health, so I actually got some safety. Especially now that I got the Laurel. I can just get the Victory Sword, and this is going to go very sweet. Because at that point I can just go through the entire wave and crash it all. Especially if I can also grab Eskibur. Eskizabur. Got some health, so... Let's put it to use. And if Capella Magna didn't have such a bad way to start, it would be a lot harder. Like, Dairy Plant is more difficult than this. Yep, 118 health. That's a good amount. Yeah. I want to get the Spellbinder, too. Okay, good. Another level of Laurel. Dang it, since I have my revive up. Yep, gotta get the save hollow until after I get the level 100 boost. Or even the level 200 if I'm feeling particularly saucy. Because it doesn't scale as it sh could. Obviously, the way it should. I really wish there was a how much HP you have indicator. That would be very helpful for knowing how close to death I am because the bar itself doesn't give you an exact number. Because at 177 health, how much do I have left now? Okay, vacuum will really help. But once I get to four minutes, it's going to be a lot more trouble. That's, that's going to stop being a bat wave and I've got no damage because the victory sword refuses to spawn. Oh, no. Got early Reaper apprentices. Wait, are any of the bats getting defanged? Hmm. Oh, well, I need cooldown. It's more helpful at the moment. I could get the victory sword. This would just be going fine for a skizber. Here now, more pichon. Still have no idea how the targeting on it works. Dang it. Chicken. Just barely enough to save me. Ooh, triple level. Triple fire pichon. Wait, no, it's completely desynced from atta attack. Good, Rune Tracer, that'll help a lot. Uh, no ebony wings have shown up either. Should I get Marola? Probably will help. This will boost up the life sign scanner as well. Oh, and I do need many ghosts off the back of it. Oh, there's ebony wings. Uh -oh. Don't have the clearance, so I'm going to start getting rolled. On the other hand, my weapons are my weapons. Dang it. Uh, and the headphones didn't seem to have trouble with the audio. I had them back plugged into the computer. I think it's the connection, computer, the controller or something. Or maybe just switching the back constantly is finally breaking it. Good boy. Toasty crowns on the map. Pichon, max it out, get out of the pool. How much health do I have? 354, so I got a ton of health. I'm pretty safe at the moment. That's probably like 80 health on my bar. 
put the max out armor, so. Handle Labrador. Oh. And what else am I gonna get? Victory sword, so Corona's box. Oops. Laurel. Still don't have a second charge. Oh uh, yeah, Spellbinder, that's what I wanted, and Tarona's box, because, you know, might as well get Clock Lancet for my final weapon. Not that Toasty would effectively need it to take down death, but it's just faster. Oh no, I got Crimson Shroud. That's on the map. Get Rune Tracer up so that way I can get no future and get some counterattack in. Headphones are finally giving up the go. Uh, yeah, they don't want to spend money on a new set. Well, maybe I can do a test to see if the ones I got with the, X the Xbox headset is fine. If I can manipulate the headphone, the mic settings, the mic settings here on the console itself are more advanced than the ones that for this stream studio. Oh, I need the health first. The cooldown would help as well. Yeah, man. Now I'm getting to a wave. I don't have the out front dams to take care of as well. And I don't have any more revives, so if I get downed... Oh, granted, I could just have a ton of health and not notice it. How it works. Oh. Oh, that's good. I got some luck in. Okay, so I mean, damage is fine. Look at that. My speed is negative, though. Get some more health back. Get a nice safety net going. Even if, you know, I might like it half health. That's more than enough to boost up. Divine Bloodline to Invincibility levels or to instant kill levels. Nothing, even if you have an insane amount of curse, is gonna pierce through this. Much damage. It's only because I have not great weapons that anything is getting close. If I had Victory Sword, I'd just be cruising through, no trouble. Well, actually, do I want to max out Toronis Box? I mean, probably for the curse, in all honesty. You know, once Toasty gets to 100, he's gonna be invincible. Short of you being really, really a great aggressive. Like, so insanely aggressive, words don't describe it. Oh, right, I wanted Hollow Heart, too. Hmm. Get more room tracer going. Hmm. Do I want Toronto's box, or do I want the Hollow Heart? Well, oh. okay, get me my paranormal scan. Thank you. And now things are going to be on easy street. It's going to be so sweet, especially because with Divine Bloodline, I get every time it gives me 20 more health, I'm getting 20 more damage out of it. Okay, max out the Laurel. Actually, I'm just gonna go start going straight through them, get that Retaliation damage in for Divine Bloodline. Get Rune Tracer up so I can no future this stuff. Alright, oh, Escobar as well. Eskizabur. Yeah, at the point where Toasty gets his rocks off. Yeah, look at this. Look at all the damage they're not doing to me. That's it. The uh, oh, actually, I have two more weapons, so I can get Victory Sword, Eskizabur, and Block. Well, no, I don't need the Infinite Cord or Crimson Shroud. Will do it. So that leaves. Oh, I have two passive slots. That means I can get. Corona's box and 
Yeah, because I just fused the mini ghost. That means I can get Torona's box and the other one I was looking at, which I do not remember the name of because I'm a dink. Mist hmm, Torona's box for sure. Absolutely the one I was looking at. I just need to remember the other one I was looking at. What was it? Oh, dang it. Will this evolve? Yep, no future. Mm-hmm. Where, where are the weapons at? Yeah, now I'm getting more than enough HP. Just walk into everything. Yeah, 715. Oh, Hollow Heart. That was the other one I was looking at. Get that after I get the... Oh, why were they stacked against the wall? That's weird. I mean, they usually ignore things like that, so... Let's go fight near the duplicator. And then what am I going to be playing for after this? Well, I can't grab it. I want the hollow heart. That means I can't grab it until I hit 100 at least. Probably not going to hold out for the 200. That's Well, at 200 I'm just outright invincible anyway. There's no point. Okay. Well, go get Vandalier up. Vandalier, not Vandaliers. You know, I always call it Vandaliers. It sounds like that really should be the name, like with Life Form Scan and Life Paranormal Scanner. See, doesn't it make more sense to be a scanner since it's an actual item instead of a verb? Okay, and there's Vandalier. Then again, most people call a company store like Kroger, or Walmart, or Wal. Not Walgreens. I guess all of your HP. Well, not HP, but most of the time they're gonna call it going over to Walmart. Have you know going over to Walmart? Just sort of ends it easier. Okay. Next, oh, get Vandaliers up. Got to get. Seriously, where is Eskizbar? It's been a while. Oh. I mean, I don't have any of these. I don't really. I mean, I guess Mad Groove is fine, or I guess I could go Wicked Season. So this isn't going to be a problem. And I'm probably going to have to start banishing stuff soon. Yeah, I've got. That's like 400 health, even with maxed out, even with going heavy Wicked Season now. It's not going to be a problem. Oh, I don't want to waste Candy Box on this, but... Victory Sword Go. Yep. Now yeah, my health is going to fly up. That's ironically how I got all the other wins with Toasty, is that I got Divine Bloodline Mole and Victory Sword basically immediately every time. And I just plowed through. No trouble at all. Yes, make me stronger. Make it the ghostest with the most as hell. <laughs> need to keep an eye out to make sure that I get the correct stuff. Will probably never happen at the terrible rate this is going. Get them ready, gems. No, nope, don't want that yet. Nope. On the map. Victory sword, victory sword, victory sword, victory sword. Yep, nope, get the chest with. Nope, that was not the right move since I need to wait for. Nope, that means I got one more level up till I limit break. Well, at least I got three things to limit break, but. Mm. Alright. You definitely have to wait for Hollow Heart till I hit 100, which isn't going to be that long. Hmm. 
All right, I also need to wait for S. Kizmer. And Toronis Box and then Hollow Heart at 100. Yeah, that was not as big a wave as I was expecting. There's Toronis Box, that's good. Really? We're, did I... No. It isn't sealed. I wouldn't expect this Kizabur to be this late. Like, I... Well, granted, I can't... I got a candy box before Victory Sword and this Kizabur showed up. I mean, could have waited for it to come in a chest, but take what you get when you get it. This candy box... It's like 2% chance? I think it's actually higher than the actual monster weapons, I think. Get me my big red gem. Get that curse up. Banish hats. I do not want hats. I do not want a high boat. Do not want a shadow servant. I do not want short tone. Stop giving me science rocks. Neither of these are weapons I want. Bye-bye, magic wand. Can't magic your way out of this one. Flash arrow. More like... Bye arrow. Vanish. Pathfinder keeps coming up to you. Oh, gosh. Why is it not showing up at all? Oh, they can actually still get through. Might as well get that money while I got the greed. <laughs> yeah, it puts the greed at... Yeah, look at that level of might. Nothing is... Nothing will actually... You know, not be destroyed in a single hit. Alright, gotta go get the nice big red gem over here. Hey. Stop. Give me a Skizabur. Stop it. Stop being bad. Alright, green dudes. At least I'm going to have a lot to talk about for this video instead of going in increasingly bizarre rants. Okay, I wonder what I'm going to invent next time. Maybe I'm going to be haunted by the ghost of Toasty. There's already a ghost, which will make it even stranger. It'll pop up out of the corner and say, Toast you up. Hmm. A grapple weapon. I mean, would you even want to bring enemies closer to you? Fine, there's us, Kizmer. Punch, 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 and you're maxed out. Oh. Crap. Oh good, I'm a hundred, so that means my damage is now gone off the complete nutso end. Okay, use the skips first, so And there's Hollow Heart. There is my health completely going insane. And everything except the legionary is upgraded. Or er, no, except for S. Kizabur is upgraded. I mean, I don't need might. I need area. <laughs> Look at how tiny my health bar is. And it's still like thousands of HP. Now I can go grab Duplicator finally. But, oh, this is the power of Toasty. If you can get to the end game, you're going to do more damage than anything under this time. Even, like, hopefully the most... Okay, the controller disconnected. That is concerning. Oh, hey, super candy box. Oh, actually. Um, hmm. what else does... Oh, no, I'm getting Legionary off the next one, so I don't need it. What do I 
Does anything get the benefit of counter attack damage? I mean, festive wins for the most comedy. Oh, they'll make them all take more damage. That'll be crazy. Also, apparently, it's not actually the headphones that are messed up, it's the controller somehow. Huh. Alright, I'm in out of sync mode. Oh, I have to go get, well, the cursed ones to get more enemies on screen to annihilate them. Oh, I don't need my. Why am I great? Yeah, I thought the charge was full. Well, I don't need might. I mean might. <laughs> well, get that more victory sword is better. Here, no scan. I'm out. Mount. Mount will do more damage at this point. Not that I need damage, but it might as well. Look at how just utterly invincible this is. Just nothing is going to get close. It's impossible for anything to get close at this point. And it would be even more ridiculous if I held off Hollow Heart till I was past level 200. At that point, the damage is going to, you know, I might actually hit actual infinities on the score screen again. That's just the sheer raw power of Toast being endgame. But you know, I think it makes for a more interesting tier list, is that instead of just going S, A, B, you like, make it more exact about why you're placing them in this higher tier. Like Queen Sigma, you know, S tier, because, you know, at all stages of the game, she's going to be super strong and basically not invincible. But like, characters like Avatar and Furnace or Random could have weaker starts. But by the end game, they're going to be as just as invincible as her. Like, even just mid-game. So, like, you know, weaker start, much stronger, and... I mean, look at how slow fast those Atlanteans went down. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no time. Just completely gone immediately. Like, no joke, I have actually had Toasty vaporize death instantly with when he was like level 300 too. Because the damage was just that out of control at that point. It's just going to get worse with Paranormal Scan. It can't keep up the health, but it can keep up doing the damage. Oh, this is a gigantic gem. Heck, I might actually get to 200 off this. Yeah, look at that. Everything fly up. No, I don't want to go straight for the other rings or do something else. Man, and even the luck is towards the better points I want. Yeah, look, I just got like five procs of paranormal scan. Cooldowns at 48, which actually isn't that high considering how long I've had paranormal scan up. Is there a chest I missed? No. Yeah, five more XP. Five more growth. Yeah, look, I'm almost level 200 on Toasty. That level, you're outright invincible. Not even death can take you out. Only the white hand can do it. Only because it cheats. Why are you letting walls stop me? I have too much speed. See, it's so bad that I'm actually gaining health now. There's nothing can hurt me. Which is bad in and of itself, but also there's no way I'm going to be healing 20,000 HP. Even if I did... You know, paranormal scans can keep knocking that down. There's more. Oh, and of course, when I get the next level, 
going to be another 60,000 health on top of it. Or, oh, it's just 6,000? Oh, I... Wait. Is it? No, there's no way 6,000 goes into this number easier. Hmm. How did my health get to this level? There's no way I gained like 20,000 health just from divine club in my game. Here I'm almost scanned. Finally. Now my health is going to keep going even higher because legionary procs the retaliation damage. Oh. Yeah, see? Look, it's still going up because of the legionary. That makes it even crazier. And I get armor too. Makes it even crazier. Ah, I wait till 200 to get Metaglio left, since that uh, also boosts up the health. And then it will get really crazy. Uh, is it here? No, it's the next one over. Oh man, why do I keep ending up at 19 with everything collected? It's just way too much of a coincidence. Oh, it's the next one over. Who do you think sits on this throne here? I mean, I guess it could also be a chair. I mean, in fact, it's probably a chair. Where do you see, like, tables or anything in front of a real throne? Like, maybe a mobile throne, but one that's definitely part of the scenery. You wouldn't see that. Let me go get that red gem. So then I can just random always. Yeah, yeah there it is. No, oh, that's a different red gem. Oh wow, how am I this far up? Oh right. No oh, wait, Soul Solution doesn't vacuum gems anymore. When did that happen? Like even with 264 curse, they are barely getting on the edge of the screen. That's how ridiculous it's supposed to get. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, a chest. Oh, right. I should have gone and grabbed the gem. I need to get to level 200. Dude. Well, nothing from this chest but money, so I should wait till. Well, not that I have a choice. So, solution takes you out of the action. And now I can land them all these. And I just imagine how bad it would be. Crazy. See, now I'm at 30,000 health. Oh, wait. I, I'm gonna look up Toasty's health gain stuff. I thought he got both of them at 200. Okay, okay he gets. Okay, yeah, it's 9,998 health he gets. Oh, only at 100. They just formatted this weird. Okay, he gets boost to luck. Okay. That makes different sense. Okay, where are the thingamajigs? Okay, I'm gonna just take Revive the Awake here, and yeah, take Awake, three Revivals, 10% max health, one armor, and five might. So I'm gonna take that, pop them all on the white hand, and see just how sky high the stats can get. You barely even saw those Atlanteans. They've got a lot of health at this point. Stop moving. You gotta save up that red gym. But yeah, he doesn't get two boosts of 9,998 HP. He gets just the one. Just they formatted it strangely on the website, so I got confused. Yep, 4,500 HP. That's a perfectly normal amount of HP. Like, even if I didn't have all the armor to cripple death, 
wore the Crimson Shroud. No, oh, actually, I don't have Crimson Shroud, huh? But when I get Crimson Shroud... Yeah, I don't even have a level on Maul, so no waste there. Okay. Yeah, even if I get, you know, a level on Crimson Shroud... Yeah, now I'm so far beyond Invincible. It defies words. It'll make for a fun end screen. Gonna pop all the awakes from... Well, all the revives from awake on the white hand. See how crazy the damage and the health gets. Because 4,500 is not enough. It's almost as much armor as I'm gonna get. Yeah, 32,000 might. It's only going to get worse, too, <laughs> because of paranormal spam. Once that maxes out the cooldown, it's going to be deep, 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 everything going up even higher. Because I got Wicked Season off the second box. That means the growth is going to go crazy, too. Growth and curse. Beat 20 more health, and... Occasionally, enemies will be on screen. Not often, but it'll happen. Oh, right, because I forgot to charge the controller after I played this morning. And the headphones actually drain a lot of the controller battery. Okay, good thing I only have two more characters to go. And, well, Smith 4 is not as wretched as Toasty, even if he's not as powerful either. And random is, well, a free win. Let me see what Smith 4 gets. Not a character I really play either. Ghosty, you at least have the gimmick with him. Ah, uh, yeah. He gets Smith 4 gets familiar. No step notices. Okay, it is a reference to Smith, of course. Ah, yeah, it is. That's just what I thought. Spam, spam, spam humbug. Humbug. Okay. Let's see. Seven health, well, nine with a bonus. He does have a decent stat line. Oh, get hot. Wow. 0.7 attacking? Jeez. Okay, yeah, Smith 4 is actually incredible. Because they get recovery and might and area and speed and duration and cooldown and luck every level. Wow. So, heck. Hmm, so what am I gonna build? I just did do Divine Bloodline, and well, it's also gonna be good for Smith 4 less good because he gets the recovery. It gets the recovery bonus. Oh, quirky white bear because Cavallo is the horse. Uh, Monaco is amazing. So, what do I want? What do the year? What? Hmm. Vandalier is better. Like, maybe if I get... Well, actually, no. What stage is he going to? Next is... No, oh, please don't tell me it's Eomoyce. I don't want to play Eomoyce. Okay, no, it's... No, it is Eomoyce, so... I'm skipping that. I'm just going to make one big, long video with everyone going through Eomoyce. I don't have to deal with it. That means Smith War is gonna go to Moon though. And yeah, because that he's based more on levels than anything. Christ, that means have like twenty thousand HP right now. I don't think he's gonna top that. But okay. Smith War is going to Moon Glow. Because he gets Rock up the levels as much as possible. No need for a Corona's box and a Kevin Badge doesn't spawn. 
Actually, maybe if you get like all the, both the, maybe if you get like the spell stream and stuff, it'll spawn. Otherwise, it's just on the map. I really thought about it. <laughs> but yeah, get everything right off the bat. Hopefully, get a quick garlic. Just run through everything. Use that big might bonus. Even if garlic doesn't do damage, getting 0.7 might per level will make it keep up. Uh, get the one that decreases garlic cooldown with movement. That could go good. And oh, with high recovery, I mean, it'll synergize well with Soul Eater. Best time to get the chest is when I am like that. Not that I'm needing the money at all, obviously, but might as well be efficient when you can. Alright, so that's Smith Force planned out, and random is going to be going over to Green Acres. And it is random, so there's no plan. In fact, I will just random whatever arcana I get. In fact, I will just hit the first, get the first selection, just to make it as random as possible, I will just get the first selection every time. It'll probably be bad when I get, like, Cursed Omaniac and weapons that don't synergize with whatever random gets, and it can't evolve anything. But it is what it is going to be. Random! Really do hope Stump plays them eventually. Because, you know, I didn't... I thought it would just be a random character too, like you probably did when you saw it. Not that it was a totally character named Random. Yeah, I should check this... Oh, well, it probably would have popped up on my feed if they had a new Vampire Survivors video. And I still do need to go back to looking at other videos and putting down some comments. I've been too lazy with that recently because I had to go start up the cross account and start getting things ready there. I've almost got more followers than subscribers on the YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, I'm not making a Facebook account. Cross is difficult enough, but Facebook is a not too far. Oh dang it, there goes the demonetization. I meant not C, not the German political party during World War II. Heh, heh, you get it? Heh. Almost done. Almost got the ridiculous stuff. Oh, wait, I should probably go level up. If there are any gems left. There are they. Oh man, if I killed so hard that they're all in one mega mega super gem, I can't find it. I, just, I can't find it. I can't pick it up and then level up. Yep, I think that's what happened. And I have actually gotten so much health back that my damage is terrible again. <laughs> uh. the gem. Oh, I didn't even see that show up, did you? Oh, time to pop all them awakes. But yeah, that's the power of Toasty. You can vaporize death instantly. Like, in fact, I'm pretty sure that wasn't even a second. See if you can even find me, White Hand. Oh, it is. Time to arrive. Okay, let's see how high the stats go. 58,000 health. Sixty-four thousand health. Seventy one thousand health. Seventy eight thousand health. Eighty 
86,000 health. Ninety-four thousand health. And quit. Oh man, I was only in the millions. I didn't break billions. No, oh, probably because I healed too much back at the end. Wow. Just wow. I mean grant. <laughs> Solution only did a hundred million. Crimson Shroud had nothing to hit it. And Victory Sword had very little to hit as well. But yeah, no future. Very, very, very good weapon. I was really hoping to hit Infinity again, but I guess I healed too much in the end. But that is toasty done. Okay, bit of difficulty for a good old Toasty, but he divine bloodlined his way through it. That's 35 down. So many more to go. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep messing around.